please remember to silence all phones. Careful. All right. All right. Joining us from Wake Forest is Coach Steve Forbes with athletes, student athletes, Cameron Hildreth and Hunter Salas. We'll start with opening remarks from Coach. Yeah, I thought it was a really hard fought game between two uh, really good teams. Two teams that, you know, deserve to play in the NCAA tournament. Just tough, hard nosed teams. Um, you know, in the three games that we played, we had a really hard time guarding Liggett in game one and game, obviously, today. It's a tough matchup for our team because we have to guard uh, Henson with Cameron. Cameron can't guard the whole team. And so he has to guard Henson putting our four man on Liggett. And that's a problem. And he he exposed us today. Um, then finally, you know, at late in the second half, we just go, had to go ahead and switch Cam back to him. And that kind of took Epton off the floor or, 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 or Andrew because we couldn't probably play them both together. And so um, that, that was hard. And credit to Henson and and um, and Leggett for playing outstanding basketball. When we when we switched uh, back, Andrew back on uh, Henson, I think he made a couple – plays right away. We just had a hard time with them. I gave up 10 offensive rebounds that were killers and 15 turnovers. You know, it's just a hard way to win. I, th I thought it, when we got it back to three, unbelievable fight in our team. Uh, we just didn't get any crunch time stops. They just bullied our way to the rim and either shot layups or fouls. We had a critical turnover, an air ball. And then I think it was just a six-point game, about a little under two to go, and, and uh, Hunter drove the ball, obvious foul. They didn't call it. And so, um, you know, they go down. Now we should be shooting two to make it four. They go down, I think, go up eight. That's pretty tough from there. So um, I, I, I'm proud of my team. They they got down 19, cut it to three. We, we set a goal with, was it eight or 10 to get it under 10? You remember 10? 10 under 10, they did it. And uh, – Battled all the way uh, there. Questions? Okay, we'll open up for questions here in the front, set third row. Connor O'Neill with Deacon Illustrated. Steve, what made offense so tough to come by for the first like twenty-seven minutes? Yeah, yeah. We, I don't know. You know, kind of. We just we didn't move a lot. We didn't uh, when we drove it. Um, we didn't come off of it. We got uh, we got ripped. We, we turned it over. Um, I just I just thought we were sluggish offensively we, i thought defensively we were okay you know we were we were that was, was kind of was how it kept us in the game but offensively yeah in the first half we were poor and um i don't know man i i, I thought we just i thought we were standing and surprised like they were in the gaps when they were going to be in the gaps and that's when you got to punch it in there and kick it you know and then i thought we've you have to tell me i thought we've I, didn't, I thought we missed a lot of shots around the basket, too. You know, Andrew got one blocked, Efton, I don't know, maybe Hunt missed one. I, I thought we got there some, too, and we didn't finish. And so uh, it's probably a combination of, of both. Four for on the end. Um, Andrew Braun with the old golden black. Um, this is for either of the players. Um, Wake needed a giant second half offensively just to have a chance. And, I mean, you had just that offensively. Um, cutting into re the rebounding deficit and putting up points. Um, what did either of you see yourself needing to do coming out of the half? Um, I mean, I felt like down the stretch we had to get stops. Uh, that was the biggest thing we were talking about, especially in halftime. Just, um, I mean, knowing our offense will come, just on that defensive end, making sure we get stops. Jim? Yeah, I think it all starts with our defense. That's, you know, it transitions to offense. Um, but, yeah, I think we just had a couple – Miscommunications a few times, but veering back um, on number 25 in the pick and roll, he had a couple of threes. Um, but yeah, if we just have to be executed, you know, for 40 minutes. Um, but yeah, I mean, we fought, so I'm proud of the team. I mean, and the the other thing with Leggett is you got to understand when if we didn't, if we stay in the drop, then we give low and Carrington easy shots. So we came up to touch, which means they came, the ball came out hot against the, against the uh, ball screen, which means they just skipped it lane line to, to leg it. Well, that's a long, you have to pull in on the roll when you're up to touch. And so then we got to come close out and letting it was driving us off to close out. And that was a, another area where he exposed us. And then, like he said, we had a couple of miscommunications on beer backs 
were 25, should have never got a three, and he got wide open looks. When those things, you know, add those things up, they become a problem. Second row in the back. Uh, Hunter, this question's for you. You know, you transferred in this season, obviously, alongside Afton. Coach Forbes has almost uh, kind of formed this, you know, persona around the NCA as being the transfer whisperer recently. What makes Wake Forest such a special program to come play for and why you choose to, you know, transfer from Gonzaga this season? Um, I mean, Wake Forest is my family, you know, um, definitely my second home away from Omaha. So uh, coming here and being able to be here was, um, it was real easy for me. So um, I've definitely enjoyed my time here and um, I'm looking forward to continuing my time here. So. Yeah. Second round of front. Um, this is uh, Cameron Deborah's Demon Deacon Digest. Even also Hunter kind of piggybacking on that. You said you wanted to continue your time here. You know what's kind of next for everyone. You know you've got selection Sunday on Sunday. Yeah. Board opens on Monday. We we got more to play for. You know it, it'll be with an end. It won't be the CIT or the CBI. I know that. Um, that those even exist anymore. Um, you know it'll be uh, you know the NCA or the NIT. You know um. The one thing we have to remember is we don't know how the committee will look at us when it comes to after not playing six games. So who knows where we're at right now? I don't know. I mean, obviously it's, it'll be, it'll be down to the wire, but it won't be down to the wire for the NIT, which we should have been in last year, but did not And so uh, we'll play, you know, we'll get together. We'll go back tomorrow, take Saturday off, get together Sunday, figure it out and then play from there. Um, you know, yeah, the portal opens Monday, big whoop. We got we got more to play. We won't be talking about that until we're done playing. Okay, four for on the end. Fred Friedlander, SaturdayRoad.com. This is for Coach and also the players. Uh, what are the next three days waiting till Selection Sunday going to be like? Go ahead, Cam. Um, I mean, Coach already like touched on it. Like we're not done, so we want to still focus on us as a team um, and not separating from each other. Um, you know, we're a great team, we're a great group of guys, you know, our chemistry is really good. And I think that's why we're able to play the way we do. Um, but I think just over the next few days, just, you know, rest up and get together and, and see what happens. But we're not going to we're not going to give up on ourselves and we're going to continue until the end of the season. Yeah, I, I think there's another episode of Masters of the Air coming out. I'll be watching that. So um, kind of go from there. Next question in front. Hunter after that, or sorry, Essex Air BSD, after that under 12 timeout, there was the 9-0 run. Seemed like there was a bit of an energy shift with the team. Did did you see anything different? And then what what kind of came out of that timeout to make that happen? Um, I say it looked like we kind of woke up a little bit. Um, we know that we had to, you know, we had to get something going with the time. I mean, we were fighting against time at that point. So I mean, just players trying to make plays. And um, I feel like my team did a great job down the stretch, you know, just Couple things here and there um, at the end of the game that really uh, ended up costing us. But I mean, ultimately, I'm proud of my team. I mean, I think, you know, we finally put score pressure on them, you know, and I knew this would happen if we could get it under 10. It would they'd get a little tighter. The, the shots wouldn't go as easy. And and that's what happened, you know. And uh, to their credit, they we fought back and then they regrouped and made plays like, like a good team does. Last question, third row on the end. Steve, have you talked to anybody involved with the committee about how they'll view the Efton situation? No, I mean, I just had some conversations with Bubba, you know, Cunningham before he, he went into the bunker. Um, you know, you ever seen that movie Downfall by Hitler? It's pretty good. Um, uh, it's all about the bunker. Um, that's a real bunker, by the way. But um, I think that... Um, you know, we'll see, you know, how much they weigh that. It, it'll be talked about because I think it's pretty obvious that one of the committee members already said in the a couple of days ago that they were going to look at the young man from Indiana State who was ill or didn't play in a couple of games they played in. So, I mean, we got a guy that played didn't play in six. And then we have a football player that cost Florida State going to the, you know, bowls. What do they call that thing? The playoffs, because he didn't get a, you know, he wasn't going to be on the team. So why wouldn't it be vice versa? So we'll see. Now it's different people, different deal, but uh, we have a good team. And I, I firmly believe, and everybody, everybody's watched this play all year long. We can turn, we can win. It's not like it's going to be charity now. Nobody's going to want to play us if we get in there. It'll be like that, you know, if the NIT too will probably be at home, which will be a hard place for somebody to come win, in my opinion. Okay, thank you, Coach. All right, Please. thank you.
appreciate Please it. Please not wait for us. Locker room is open for about another 10, 15 minutes. Stop,